guys, how you doing? In today's video, we're going to be taking off a water pump. We've got a uh, C7 Acer Caterpillar motor here. This is our trainer. Uh, first though, I'm going to talk about the type of cooling system that this motor has on it. Uh, as you can see, we've got everything removed off of the front of this. This is usually where the radiator would go at. Um, this right here is our water pump. Uh, when on, under cold start, under the cold start, it would uh, be sucking in water from right here. This is where the bottom radiator hose would go. Uh, and then it would go through our water pump into the back side of the oil cooler here and go into the block, travel through the water jackets and cylinder walls and all that stuff, then come up here through our cylinder head and uh, travel through this port right here. It comes out right here and it was just gonna recirculate through until this motor gets up to operating temperature. And then in here is our, um, our water regulator or a thermostat. Uh, and once the, once the motor gets up to operating temperature, this thermostat's gonna open up and it's gonna start feeding the water to the top side, which would feed into the radiator and cool off as it's going through the system and then get sucked back up on the bottom side, okay? So when it's under cold start, it just doesn't have the radiator involved. When it's up at operating temperature, it opens up the thermostat right here and it goes into the radiator, okay? So that's just, um, it's called pressure type system and the reason that this motor uses that method is um, to help prevent the cavitation. Cavitation is uh, air bubbles in your cooling system. Uh, what can happen with that is those bubbles don't get compressed, so they end up popping internally and they cause divots in all the water lines and it could end up breaking through a water line eventually corroding through. Um, so that was just a quick little intro on that. Next we're going to be using some generic ratchets and uh, sockets. All we've got to do is take off these four bolts around here and we'll be able to pull the, um, the water pump off. Before you get to that point, uh, you are going to actually take and pull on this pulley a little bit, give it a little lift. Try to see if this has any play whatsoever. If you've got any play in there, that means that your bearings are bad and it's probably best to go ahead and replace the water pump uh, as a unit completely. Um, but I mean, this is pretty stiff. You're also going to be giving it a spin. Make sure that you've got good uh, impeller movement in there. This is pretty, pretty smooth operating. That's about how it should be. I mean, it's just a trainer motor, but uh, all right, so we're gonna get some tools. We're gonna start taking this apart. We'll probably take that old cooler off too, just so you can see the uh, the um, the inside where the water jackets are at and all that stuff. Okay, so a quick example. This is a water pump that is not good. Oh, that's real stiff. I'm just kind of stuck in place. I would replace that pump. All right, so we've uh, taken our 16 millimeter socket and ratchet. We've undone these uh, three bolts here. We got basically the water pump just holding on by this last bolt there. So we're gonna support it slightly. Undo it this last little bit. Right? Good. Ta-da! Old water pump as the assembly comes off. It's over. All right? Bolt's falling out. That one ain't falling out. Okay, so now we've got our uh, water pump up on the table, right? So we're gonna check our O-ring right here. We would actually replace this O-ring. This one's real crushed down in there. Uh, we're gonna pull that out, replace that. And what we're gonna do is actually take off these uh, back bolts here on the back side of the water pump. And we're gonna check out our impeller on the inside to make sure that, that there's no corrosion in there. And make sure that the fins haven't worn down. Uh, bolts here off the back. And then we would just give it a little crack, right? Go. Go. Okay, so as you can see, we got some corrosion in there in the housing. Not okay. good. Might be able to be clean, but very doubtful on that. Uh, you can see you can see here all the fins. You can actually go through and inspect all of this. Um, there's a little bit more corrosion down here. This is like I said where the water pump come or where the water comes through and flows. This impeller set the sec on the side, right? So it's uh, it's on this pulley here. And as it's rotating, it's sucking the water from in there. 
and these fins are pushing it through and moving it on through either back into the uh, engine or back up into the uh, bypass. But, I mean, here's a basic water pump, taking it apart. Honestly, I would replace this unit completely. Um, but this is just a trainer. In here, you're supposed to have a gasket also. You're gonna inspect that. Uh, I could barely even tell that there used to be a gasket in there. That'd be something to replace. Scrape all that stuff out if you if you were gonna reuse this, but clearly we're not. This is just a trainer motor. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this back plate back on, and then it's really just the reverse uh, of, uh, of, uh, of you know removal. So installation, basic. Put those three bolts back in. Put the three bolts on the on the front. Back onto the uh, mount on the motor, and you're really done with it.